Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hey, it's Jay, welcome to my channel. Um, I know it's been like two weeks since I posted a video, um, but a lot of stuff like happened and I had like a little break there. First thing happened was I filmed a different video from this one, um, twice, and my phone started to play up and uh, the videos apparently weren't downloading, editing them was fine, but it kept on saying downloading from the iCloud and it wasn't working and it, the YouTube didn't like it. But then I've had at least two to three fibro flares um, this week. Um, so I've been bed bound <laughs> because I've been in the worst pain in my entire life. Um, couldn't move, migraine. If you have fibro, you know, you know. This month is actually fibro awareness month. So if you don't know what fibromyalgia is, you, I made a video on it a, a while ago now. You can find it on my channel. But if you want, you can just look it up. Um, if you know someone with fibro, it's probably easier for you to understand. It's a really weird and chronic illness, like a lot of people don't know about it and a lot of people do. Anyone else who watches me that suffers from fibro, I'm here for you if you want to talk. You can find me on Instagram. Um, my DM's open. But anyway, this is not what this video is supposed to be about. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram, um, if you follow me on there you might have seen it, um, where I did should I do the video that I was going to do before this one, which was a geeky jewellery video, which didn't work out. Um, or something about body positivity. Body positivity one, as you can tell by the title of the video. I just, I think I wanted to do it because um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff going around on Instagram about um, um, encouraging things about people who may not like their legs, who may not like their stomach, who may not like their arms, like just don't give a, don't give a fuck and just wear what you want to wear and da-da. And I think that's great. And then, uh, but then like I'll, I'll, I've also been thinking about it more on the side of now of social media and nowadays um, cause like I really, there wasn't really any social media when I was younger. I'm only 26, but like there wasn't really a lot of social media. Before we get started into this video, like I don't want anyone to get triggered by anything. Um, if you are suffer, if you suffered from like an eating disorder or something like that. So if you, if body positivity and diet and stuff is not something you want to hear or want to see me speak about, you can go watch one of my other videos if you'd like. I will not be offended. Let's just, um, get started. <laughs> So I did uh, think about this a lot because um, I've been on a weight loss journey myself. Um, back when I didn't have fibro, um, I was going to the gym every now and then. I was, I think I was the slimmest I've ever been. Um, and I felt good about it. I felt really healthy. Um, I could I could just feel my confidence growing a bit more. Uh, but then when my fibro hit me, it makes it difficult, more difficult for me to go to the gym. Um, so I try and do little home workouts when I can, but then some days obviously you're bed bound and then you, when you feel like shit, you eat shit. So over lockdown, I didn't realize how much um, weight I'd put on until New Year's of 2020 and I went to wear one of my dresses and it wouldn't zip up. It would zip and then it would come undone, it would zip, it would come undone. I felt heavy, I felt disgusting. I just like, this is it meant it. I put it on, I wanted to take it off, but I spent ages doing my makeup and stuff. But And then I got inspired by, um, like I said in one of my previous videos, by one of my friends, um, Lauren, who runs her own baking service now, Count with Curly. You can find her on Instagram. Um, she's made this business like an absolute success and it's really cool to see um but i started following her i am advice of like a cal not a calorie controlled diet but like just watching like your calories obviously because i think i was putting i was putting too many calories into my body without realizing it so i was like oh god um and then i started that early-ish january time and then by the end of january that dress that didn't fit it zipped up but the one thing I'm I'm still struggling with all, a lot is my um, thighs. They're not as big as they were, but like I'm I'm a small girl. I've got chunky thighs, um, and I don't want to wear shorts sometimes. Like um, I will only wear shorts when I'm on holiday because no one on holiday will know me. Um, I'm more scared of wearing shorts and summer clothes and stuff around where I live because there'll be people there that I'll recognise and then. I, I get petrified because I just have that paranoid feeling where like if I wear something because like Inverness is very not out there like if it, it's clear when like people think you're different here and it's like I love fashion I love all these different clothes and stuff so like, when I go out in something and people just look at me it's like they, oh they think I'm weird <laughs> but no I just like I, I have a different I've learned this just because I have a different style and everything so it's not really an issue but like if I if I was walking past like say a group of girls like I literally this happened I wore shorts but I wore tights with them so I wasn't bare legged I wore tights but the way the shorts fit 
they looked so tiny and it wasn't my fault like I could pull them down I was getting dirty looks off every age range you could possibly fucking think of and I was like it's not like I'm naked like what is the issue with me wearing shorts because I and then literally I was walking home with my sister and there was a group of girls that passed and crossed us and they just fucking looked me up and down and I was like what is your issue I and I, I put tight I put the tights on and I thought my legs look good in the tights like I've I've always like hated sometimes wearing tights because I think my legs look disgusting but that particular day, I, I'm working, I've been working on my eating. I've been trying to do some exercises when I can and if I can. And I felt good about my legs. Like, what, what was the issue? And it was a nice day. I know the shorts were short, but at least I wasn't like, my butt wasn't hanging out the bloody shorts. This is what I'm meaning. And this is where I get about the social, this is where I'm probably going to come into like the social media thing. Because, yes, I've been guilty in the past. I've used filters before, but only like my face. Like I've not used autotune, like I do Snapchat filters, some Instagram filters are cute, so I'll use those. But generally now, when I take photos of from, like with outfits on Instagram, I put makeup on and the only things I do is like, go and mess with the colours in the background and put like slight filters on it. But like there's no filters on my face anymore, because I'm trying not to do that. Um, I'll do it for fun with friends, if they're like, oh let's take a funny Snapchat, I'm like yeah I'll do that. But like everyone knows that's not what your face looks like because it's altered and you don't have bunny ears sticking out your head. This is what I'm meaning. Like people, like obviously like, I'm gonna bring like the Kardashians or something into it because that's the only thing that comes to my head. I'm not coming for the Kardashians, so don't shoot me. Like they, like there's been things going around obviously now like Chloe, like obviously like her assistant posted this unedited picture and they were like, take it down, take it down. It's because they hadn't, it wasn't edited. And I get that their job is to be perfect and they're and like that's what they're, they're supposed to look like their jobs are, their job is Instagram and their job is doing this and their job is doing that and they're supposed to look perfect um like the ideal person but it's like everyone has most people like I probably think like 70 to 80 percent of the work people have cellulite I do that's one thing I hate like I like I think my legs are, like are great they look better than they did but like I still like look at my legs sometimes and I just think oh they look disgusting I've got thunder fries they're fat they're disgusting like I hate like they jiggle they're like I've got cellulite like I do not have the, the best body in the entire world. I'm happy with the way that my stomach looks and stuff because of, again, I'm saying my, the health kick I've been on and da 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 da. But no, there are still things I would like to change. Yeah, I would I, I would love to change my legs. I would love to be at least 10, like a, five feet taller than I am so they were slender. So there's so much more stuff about social media about positive body image. But when you see people like, I know like models and that's their job to look perfect, but and it's like they look like that. But it's like when people use filters and stuff, it's not realistic. And this is where it's, I'm not, I'm not a mum or anything. I have four nephews, I don't have any nieces, but it can still affect them. Because I, I think, and also the way of seeing it, people are thinking more of girls with body image than boys. But it affects everyone. It doesn't matter how old you are. You could, my mum's like, well obviously my mum's older than me, but like she could see someone her age and say, oh look at her, she looks great for her age and did it. My mum still like hates, like sometimes just goes, I'm fat and did it. But like she's had five kids, she's allowed to not look Instagram worthy. Like she's allowed to do it. And she's still everyone still thinks she's gorgeous. So do I. If you see someone that's obviously if they're bigger than you, if they're thinner than you, just be nice. You know, people want to wear shorts. Like I see girls who like are bigger than me. Like I'm not meaning that in a horrible way, but I see girls that have bigger legs than me and like they wear shorts and they rock it. And I'm like, I wish I could do that. I just don't have the confidence to not wear shorts for tights and it's insane like that all I'm saying is like body positivity can be anything like just because someone's obese does it, like or looks big doesn't mean they're fat so Lizzo there were, I watched a video about Lizzo we all know Lizzo do my hair touch check my nails we know her she's awesome she's a queen she's always tried to lose weight her whole life she just can't do it she's she's a big girl like she just can't seem to lose weight and then everyone gets off at her like when she's in, when she does like the Brits and she wears the leotards and she wears all this different stuff. And it's like, that is body positivity right there. Who says you need to be a thin bitch to wear a leotard on stage? Like Ariana Grande wears leotards and thigh high boots and stuff. And she still looks banging. And then Lizzo looks banging in like a leotard. It doesn't matter. Like it's insane how people think oh, only girls with a certain body type can wear certain clothes. It's like, no, why do you think they have a size range? Anyone can wear what they want to wear. It doesn't matter. Like I could wear a top. 
and I could see a girl who's like a, a couple sizes bigger than me and she could be rocking out. I was like, oh my God, I'm wearing the same thing, but she looks better in it than I do. I like encouraging people now. Like if I see someone with like nice, if they've dyed their hair, I'll go, oh, I love your hair. If I see someone with good eye makeup, I'll go, oh, I love your eye makeup. Wish I could do that. So why don't we start saying things to people like, um, oh, I love your confidence. I love your outfit. You look good. Like, why can't we just start saying that instead of when someone walks into a restaurant, go, What is the point? It's, what's my sister said? My sister said like when those girls passed me and like they were looking us, looking me up and down and it's like, my sister said they must just fe have nothing good or must be feeling shit about themselves and about their life in order to look at you and like start judging you. When did everyone become so judgmental? It's insane. If you're ever following me on Instagram, you'll see me post a few body positive messages because I want to be about that now. Like I want to try and be more positive about my body and the way I look but it will obviously it takes time we can't just you I you, you won't see me in like the pair of shorts the next time it's bl bloody sunny in Scotland which isn't a lot next time on Instagram you won't see me in bloody shorts um you might see me in shorts and tights but you won't see me bearing my legs maybe one day I'll do that as when I'm confident enough to do it maybe one day I'll do that just wanted to say for now just like if you see someone that you like if you see someone who's obviously bigger than you who has cellulite just leave them alone man like we all have cellulite, we all have thighs that wiggle, we all have wiggly bits, some of us don't have a big bum, some of us have a small bum, some of us have big boobs, some of us don't have big boobs, who gives a shit? Like I could go on and on about this but I'm already nearly at 13 minutes, 14 minutes. And I didn't want this to be like a really really long video. Um, that I just wanted to say what I wanted to say. So the why I made this video is because I know a lot of people who have body confidence issues and maybe don't feel good in themselves and stuff. I just want to say own who you are rock your shit, who gives a fuck what other people are saying, looking at you wise. You know yourself that you wear what you want to wear, you do what you want to do. If someone tells you, if someone can just, if people can just not judge, it'd be great. Like instead of giving a side eye, just go up to someone and say, I love your outfit or I love your hair or I like your makeup. Just like, can we start complimenting people please and not bringing people down? That's all I'm going to say. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it you can give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this from me you can hit the subscribe button and if you want to know when i post you can turn on your notifications um in the comments below let me know what more videos you would like to see from me if you do still want to see that geeky jewelry video let me know in the comments down below and um there's some exciting things happening in my life just now but i don't want to say anything just now until it's that it's happened but um you guys will find out and I will see you guys in my next video.